Morning all and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be talking solar. I was just going to go through our solar setup um, and if you're in the market and thinking about adding solar to your caravan or motorhome, hopefully this will be the video for you. So the product we went for, I'll, I'll, I'll add it in the description below, um, but it was an all-in-one package. It was the panel, all the wiring, the inverter, um, so everything to actually connect it up. The, the only thing that was missing was the actual silicon. Um, and in this case, we used the Siliflex um, to actually mount it to the caravan. I, I think people talk about and think about actually having to screw that the panel to the actual caravan itself. That's not the case, is actually just add the Siliflex to the bottom of the pads that are in the kit that are bolted on. Um, and then just applying that to the actual caravan itself. So the key is just making sure the top of the caravan is actually clean, any grease and grime is removed, just so it's got that chance to have a real proper strong bond um, between the, the, the feet of the solar panel and the top of the caravan. Um, and that can be left for 24 hours, um, and that'll be fine the next day. Then you can go on and think about where you're gonna be drilling um, the hole down through, um, and again, the amounting plate that that uses to make sure it's weather tight um, and no water comes in um, as a result. Uh, but again, one hole is all you're going to need to think about when you're drilling. The rest is, is pretty straightforward. It's, it's just about, yeah, where you want that in the caravan. Do you want the inverter panel to be visible so you can see what the voltage is? Um, you might have other devices in the caravan that show you that. So it might not be a requirement. but. Um, it's going to be down to personal preference but uh yeah i thought i'd just go through our setup and the choices that we've made and uh, yeah hopefully that'll be beneficial so this is our roof setup with our solar panel as i said before it's a 100 watt panel uh, something to consider here is if you go larger in terms of wattage it normally increases the size of the solar panel itself so if you're limited on space then it's something to consider before making any purchase. You also have uh, clear access here to see how the, the mounting kit works. So obviously it, you can see that there's four mounting points. Each mounting point has two bolts. From what I remember, the panel doesn't have these pre-drilled. So this is something that you need to do. Um, again, it's aluminium, so it's, it's quite straightforward just to drill through these once they're in place. Um, and again, you can just put them in place, mark them with a pen, drill them through, and then attach the bolts. Again, that, that's quite straightforward. The panel has a male and female connection underneath, so it's quite straightforward to connect the wires up for this. It's uh, like I say, as you can see, it should be a red and black connection, and that'll be the same um, with the, the two wires coming off the panel itself. So um, it's just a case of, yeah, clicking them into place and make sure they do clicking so they don't come loose. Um, and uh, yeah, you can then start looking to feed that down into the caravan through the junction box. Um, it's crucial at this moment in time, you don't make any cuts to the wire. What you wanna be able to do is decide where you're putting the location of your panel um, once you've decided and making sure like like you can see in our picture the TV area isn't going to interfere or knock it um, you've got that location set you can then put the Siliflex on mount that down and get that in loc into the right location as I said it's quite thick uh, Siliflex so it's not like it's going to be moving around all the place but you again you want to make sure you, you've pushed it down and it's spread the the sealant out to where it should be once you've done that you can then work on the wires getting them down through the caravan with this junction box and then once that's happened and and you're happy with how that looks again you can then move on to the sealant for that and again push that down into place you might want to put something on top if you think it's lifting slightly um, but again it will also depend on the the time of the year in the summer months i would say just leave it overnight by the time you come down in the morning again it will all be set in the colder months then i would say leave it 24 hours just so again it's got that extra drying time um but yeah once it's it has gone gone hard yeah that's 100 percent secure you won't have any issues with that so that should be the top section completed now um with the wires coming through into the location that you've sort of decided is going to be the best suit for where the, the control is gonna be, um, and then we can move into mounting that next. So here's the inverter. I've placed it inside the cupboard, um, wardrobe cupboard. 
uh, I, I don't need to actually see this um, on a regular basis when we're using the caravan just uh, just when I want to see what the voltage is um, so this is where I've placed it and again I've, I've used the original trunking just so again I can uh, hide the rest of the wires um, this is the point where uh, the wires come through the caravan um, yeah like I say quite straightforward it's, it's just a case of drilling from the top but again it's it's just working out where you want those holes to be um, you, you don't want them sort of in a visual place in the main point of the caravan so again just just have a think about what the, the location on the the roof um, and where those wires will come down through um, but uh, yeah you, you want to really have a think about that just so again it's it's nothing obvious and, and really looks like a, an aftermarket thought of where you've actually located that um, but uh, yeah it, it is straightforward enough it's just like I say just take the time think about the panel uh, and uh, yeah where they, the wires are going to run through so uh, as you can see the, the wires come down through the caravan they come into the inverter um, as indicated uh, with the pictures the first two wires the red and black um, and then the next two are obviously to the leisure battery and again they come back through they go down this panel um, and down through uh, and, and under the seating uh, through to the the battery location and again it's 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 not visible other than in this cupboard um, which again was normally full of clothes so you don't really see any of this so when it comes um, through that cupboard that I just showed you, the wardrobe, it comes down about here and it comes along the seating underneath so again they're not visually seen and then through to into the leisure battery which they end up through here. You will, well you don't have to but again depending on your location you may have to drill some holes just to get those wires through but again it's straightforward enough. It's just uh, a case of uh, a plastic that you're drilling through so any kind of drill bit will go through there it's just about then connecting that to your leisure battery itself so why did we get a solar panel in the first place um, so the key there was we were gonna have it stored away from the property so we wanted to make sure that the, the health of the leisure battery um, was consistent it didn't sort of run um, completely flat um, with a chance to damage that um, and again it's achieved that it's it's been flawless in terms of keeping that fully charged um, there's been a few times where we've done um, off-grid camping and yeah it's it's just it's just having that ability to recharge the leisure battery um, or sort of think about what sort of com consumption we've we need to use um, a lot of the bulbs that we've we we had originally with the caravan have been replaced with LEDs. So again, that sort of thought process is is something that you need to think about. Um, again, the, the 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 bathroom lighting's been changed now to LEDs, just so again it has that less draw on the battery overall. Um, but again, it gives you that m more flexibility when you are looking at different sides. If there isn't electric hookup, then that's not really a problem. You can still go. Um, the site itself would still normally have um, shower um, facilities and, and other mains so again not for me but um, if, if you need a hairdryer and all those kind of things again that, that's still on site it's just not within your caravan itself but the, the majority of everything else is um, you can still uh, use your fridge you can still use the cooker all the lighting um, so again you can still run a tv and and, and those kind of things etc but again it's just making sure that the devices you are running are 12 volt compatible um, if the if the stuff that uh, you've just taken from, from the house then again that's where you may have issues uh, trying to power them um, but yeah definitely something that it was worthwhile for us so there you have it, um, that's our solar setup. Hopefully this video has been uh, beneficial to you. If you have any questions, drop them below and I'll come back to you. But um, yeah, like I say, it, it should just be uh, quite straightforward for you to complete this task. Like I say, it's all in the preparation, but um, yeah, have a look. Um, yeah, and if you need any information, then uh, just drop me a line. Cheers all, and I'll speak to you soon.